And here's what I notice about guys. Here's what I notice about guys. Guys make a lot of jokes, right? <laughs> yeah. And guys will call you a crybaby yeah. and they'll call you a pussy and they'll call you all that stuff mm -hmm. when you're not crying. Yeah. But when men, at, for me, yeah. and when my experience, when a man sees another man crying. Hey, bro, you good? Most men will start like, like you, because men, like when men cry, to for me, seeing a man cry indicates an extreme amount of pain. Yeah. Like real pain. Like when dads like, cry. Yeah. Like this dude's hurt. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, like it, it, we, there's a threshold of like where like we see and it's like, hey, bro, you good? You all right? You all right, man? Hey, nah, bro, nah. Hey, come over here, man. You want to talk? Right. You know, like, you know. like you, or not even you want to talk, just yeah. like, like you go and you see somebody, you're like, Dude, just just chill out. You yeah. walk out, close the door, man. Don't go in there. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It, I get it. That's yeah. I, that was my next thing I was gonna say too. All right. No, you don't want to talk. All right, hey, bro. You can't be here. Go home. Hey, I'm gonna call you on later. Yeah, you know just, what I mean? Like that. You know, like that. But go chill. Yeah. Go chill. Yeah. But then, again, you know, it's so weird that you know that's our first thing. Hey, go home. Don't let nobody see you. Hot. Like why? Dude. Why? King bleed. <laughs> yeah. Like just just. That, that, like I say, bro, mm -hmm. cry in the shower. Yeah, nobody can see the tears. Yeah, and it's and it, bro, it's 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 the, it's it's really sad that it's like that because because if she Arnold mm -hmm. would have seen the number one prospect on the women's volleyball team start crying, mm -hmm. I bet the reaction is completely different. different. Mm -hmm. I bet it's completely different. Yeah, and that's why I asked you what, what if it was God, because like, you know what? Yeah, you know what? It's still the same message. Still the same. Hey, bro, you know, like, bro, lay off on him. You know what Leave I mean? You off. don't know what's going on in, in his in in his past or like, in you know, in his personal life and stuff like that, you know? And then freaking, you know, you're not a 22-year-old freaking uh, starting quarterback for this team. And you've never been a 22-year-old starting quarterback for this team <laughs> or like team. that. Yeah, you know. Have you ever seen a, a dude <clears throat> lay into a dude for crying like that after a game? Nah. I can't, I don't, I, I think that I really do believe that even though a guy's still gonna call you a huge pussy, mm -hmm. like later, like yeah. when everything's done, like, yeah, like, nah, like man, yeah. you was crying like a little bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, later. Yeah. But I think that in that moment, dude, men are like, nah. Leave that like leave that alone. Mm -hmm. Like just leave that alone. Mm -hmm. Don't deal with it. I think that it would it would take, you know, someone who doesn't really understand to say this is a problem. Yeah. Because I don't I don't I just don't I just don't think she understands. Mm -hmm. I don't think she I don't think she gets it. She's never been a man. She yeah. she she doesn't know what it takes to make a man cry. Mm -hmm. Men get hurt, like like physically hurt and try not to cry. Yeah, like your legs hanging off. Mm -hmm. You're like, no, nah, man, I'm good. Yeah, you're like, bro, you're like yeah, your legs. I, I had, I had. Uh, matter of fact, this was just uh, last Thursday. All right, uh, Husta. Right. Okay, he's big goose. He's tough. All right, like that. And this was in the first. This was the first round of us sparring like that. He ended up tweaking. I saw him just. Uh, I didn't. I saw him not being aggressive. All right, and coming forward, but he was shaking his elbow off. All right. Hey, what's wrong? I'm um, good, coach, like that. All right. Okay. A couple more rounds down the road like that. Now we're probably in our in our last, you know, our last three uh, rounds, you know, finishing up, you know, like that. And uh, he uh, ends up throwing an uppercut, uh, hurt something, pop, and he wanted to stand there. And, like, nah, like, nah, bro, I knew you did something in your first round. And you shook it off and you continued training and then now you're here and then now for sure he couldn't bend his elbow and like that. Now sit your ass down. He wanted to stay in there. I'm like, nah, bro. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, A, I'm not a physician or sports med or medical doctor or anything like that, but I just know something wrong. You know what I mean? I, I, I can ask you a certain amount of questions like, you know, does it burn, you know, or does it, is it right. cramping, you know, like that? Does it feel tight? You know, like what's up? Can you move it up and down like that? So he's he's he can move it up and down and stuff like hey, they're not broken. You know, like you know, I could put like a couple things together and be like, right. hey, you know. And overall, I was like, bro, you probably strained something, right? You know what I mean? And he's like, no, nah, I didn't think I tore my bicep or like that. And I was like, nah, I think you did. You know what I mean? 
So he just chilled out. Sure enough, he went to go get um, um, assessed by a doctor on Monday and stuff like that, and it was his bicep, you know? And I it freaking, but he wanted to go back in there. I'm like, nah, man, like I see you're in physical pain, bro. You know what I mean? Right. And like, you know, you just gotta have that that person in the outside, that friend, right. you know, or someone just, just knows better, like, you know, to just keep you in check and just protect you like that, you know? And it's all right, you know, like, bro, you don't have to shit. It's okay. tough, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, not right now. Like, I know you're tough, but right now you're hurt, you're right. injured. You know Saturday, I mean? we're training. Miguel goes, not little Miguel, another Miguel goes out. Yeah, he's like, I don't know. It's like, I, I tore. I tore his pec before, and I I felt something like in the same spot, and I was like, "You good?" Same mm -hmm. thing. I was like, "You good? You okay?" He's like, "I was like, you want to take a round?" He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna take a round, see how it feels." Like, okay, let's do it. So he takes the round, and then the next round, I'm like, "Come roll with me." Yeah, come roll with me. And Saturday, this is Saturday comp class, bro. Come roll with me. Super light, just putting him in different positions, like yeah. This, 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 and I, he's like, nah, I feel it when I do this. I feel it when I th like, do that. I'm like, man. Yeah, bro, stop. You probably want to chill. Yeah, you like, don't just, need to be rolling with no two stripe white belt energy like, like this, and then yeah, rip was, your hand off. I, I mean, like, rip your arm I off. I was like, just, like, you don't want to get hurt, bro. Yeah. Like, just, just chill. Ultimately, he, you know, he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to chill out. But it was, it was like the kind of persistent, like, you know you can just chill yeah and everything even if it's even if it's minor even mm -hmm. if it's just a little tweak and it goes away the next day mm -hmm. that's good because if that little tweak if you keep working on that little tweak yeah no you're it, gonna tear something it's, it's gonna be huge yeah you're gonna just compound freaking on it like that and and then fuck, you're gonna instead of being out a week or two now you're out fucking two three four five months you know yeah. what i mean like just, that just depending it's a know? lot bro yeah you know and, and it, again it's just you know um Uh, you just don't know what's going on with what people on the outside. All right, especially you know, uh, going back to like what us and and being in these combat sports and stuff like that. This is our outlet, yeah. you know. And um, yeah, I, true story. I'll tell you this right here. All right, because uh, you know, feeling the pressure with the gym. You know, uh, uh, this was during the time that I was making my my move from my first location gym to this location. Right. All right, like that, and, uh, and try to get the money to come up, you know, logistic wise of seeing what I'm gonna do. Uh, I really don't have a lot of people, you know, that uh, that uh, that can help me in, in whatever it is. And I remember Saturday comp class, man. This was this uh, this was the f uh, first, no, this was the second uh, role. All right, okay. and I, you know, I, I came out of a scramble and ended up freaking. Uh, um, uh, in a turtle position and and after like that scramble probably lasted like you know I'm 30 seconds almost to a minute and I've rolled with this guy before he's a, you know a good guy uh, uh, freaking uh, like that and uh, and bro like he was on top of me and like I just I was trying to uh, get back to my feet to recover my guard because I was in the turtle position and just this overwhelming, like, just euphoria of just, uh, like, panic set in. You know what I mean? And I, I couldn't breathe, couldn't catch. Like, like bro, like, I was getting ready for a tournament, too. So right. I was like, I was in good shape. You know, my weight was down, everything like that. I was like, why can I not breathe? You know what I mean? Like that. And, bro, it just hit me. And I just I just told him, uh, I tapped on the shoulder like that. And uh, I was like, hey, bro. And that, bro, stepped off the mat, put my shoes on, went to the back. Uh, I went upstairs to go get my bag, and I just left. Didn't say nothing to nobody, you know, like that. And he thought he hurt me. You right. know, he thought he injured me or anything like that. No, I didn't say shit to him, nothing. I just left. I've never felt this ever before. Okay. You know what I mean? But it was just a huge, it like, you know, to this day, I don't know what it is and everything like that, you know, right. and I'm just going to chalk it up to a panic attack. I've never had a panic attack ever in my life. But if if I, if that was a panic attack, that, that's, that, what, that's it what it was. Yeah. I couldn't breathe. You know, I just, uh, I felt like the, the room was closing in on me. No, all, definitely all that, you know attack. what I mean? Definitely you know, attack. and a lot of that was like that because A, I was moving locations, Crystal's pregnant. I'm not making any money, you know, like that fucking, you know, uh, I'm fucking signing up for all these tournaments. I'm not losing, I'm not winning any tournaments. 
like that and like in, bro like in in it like i remember in the in, uh uh because uh when's the um 10 o'clock is, is pablo's kids class right yeah yeah all right so i remember that the whole time i was just so zoned out you know that whole freaking time just being there with the kids you know and walking around trying to help my kids help out pablo's kids and everything like that and then sure enough you know after the stretches and going in um, like my first role obviously went with like a white blue belt like that just to warm up and then boom I started going to purple like that so the guy that at the time he's a purple but now he's a brown belt but really like I wasn't even a bad position but the thing is he's like man I just he was putting pressure on me and I couldn't get up and, you know it wasn't you know he wasn't making it easy for me man and, I, and bro it just set in got up put my slippers on got my shit got in my car and I just left and then sure enough, uh, freaking, uh, uh, like a couple weeks later, uh, cause I, like I took probably two or three Saturdays off. I didn't, I didn't come back, you know? And then I, I came back and I saw him again and I'm like, Hey bro, I just want to apologize to you, man. Like, uh, I, I fucking panic like that. And he was like, Hey man, don't even fucking worry about it. You don't got to talk about it, man. You're here now. Let's, let's just, <laughs> it. you know, like that, but yeah, man. But you know, I just feel bad, bro, because uh, you know you you're here to train and stuff like that, and you know I did that to you, you know. But you know, yeah, you know. Um, but when guys know, you know, like right, you know, uh, I can't really speak for for females. We're not females or anything like that. But, you know, I really I really don't see that too often. You know, but like guys know, bro. You know, and uh, you don't even have to say it. I think like the message is is like, uh, as as a guy, when you really sense that. You know, don't be afraid to to talk. Yeah. You know, if if they reach out like that, and then don't be afraid to reach out if you see the guy. You know. You know, <clears throat> it, it it was probably because dudes recognize it. Mm -hmm. Like you recognize it, you can see it. You say you say, yeah, he's going through it. Mm -hmm. You recognize it, but you always like like I'm just gonna stay over here. I'm gonna stay over here, and then when he, if like if he needs me, I'm here. But you never say, "Hey, bro, if you need me, I'm here." Yeah. You just say, "If he needs me, I'm here." Well, that's my point. I, I feel yeah. that that needs you, to be said a little bit got, more. But I think you need to say it. And uh, I think when, you, say it. you know, you saying that, you know, uh, I have a, I have a. Uh, um, there's there's three guys. They're all friends, and you know, they've been here consistent, and they they've been real loyal to the gym, and like that. And like right now during these times, you know, freaking, they, you know. Uh, there's one of them that he, every time I see him, he'll look at me right in my eyes. He makes sure that like he'll be like, "Hey, coach," you know, and then he'll look at me and he makes sure that I'm I'm looking at him too, like that. Because normally I'm like, "Hey, you know how you, uh, how you doing?" like that, and I just I'm all like that. But he makes sure that as you soon as I thing. make eye contact, he's like, "Hey, you good, coach?" You, you, or, or you know, like that. You do the salt thing. Yeah. yeah, you know, like that. And he makes sure that he understands, or like he makes sure that he like I I understand that you know he that that he like I know what question he just asked me like yep. hey are you good yep not like one of those pass by yeah you know, how your day going oh yeah. good you know like that no it's like <laughs> it's real it's and real. and I I really haven't I, 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 I haven't been picking up on it but but he's been a little bit more adamant with it like that and the other uh, other week it, it hit me I'm like man he's not just asking me how am I doing you know what I mean uh, and so I get it now, yeah. and I'm like, man, because you know what? Like, you're just in your own little world, going right. through your day to day, you know. And anything like me, like I keep my head down and I'm buried through. But I like I, I you know, you, you, everybody sees how you're wearing it on your face, you know, on your, you know, like that, where where you look tired, you know, freaking, you look, you know, a little bit distraught, you know, you're not you're not upbeat no more. Maybe your shoulders slump forward, and, you know, and round the back. You know, your your chest ain't up. Like, and right. I have to remember to do those things, <coughs> especially when I'm out in front of my my members, you know, um, and instructing class. Like, like, not you know, I it's it's not really trying to put on a facade, but you know, it's like, nah, you you can't let them see you waver. It's it's like we it's it's just like saying, hey, do you want to be my friend? Yeah, like that's weird. Mm -hmm. That's weird to dudes. That's weird, right? Because <clears throat> because we do, as men, we do so much stuff like unwritten, right? Like for the, for any ladies that are watching, your dude may not say to you, "I love you" every day, but it's reactions. He wakes up in the morning. Mm -hmm. He does all the stuff. He texts you. He may not say it, but 
he's doing his thing to show you that he loves you, mm -hmm. right? He's, he may not say it. And a lot of things with men are done by action, right? Yeah. Um, and part of that action is like, you see people and you recognize, and you're like, man, shit, he's going through it. Yeah. And so you, you do little stuff. Yeah. You do, it's, it's, it's the, man, it's the smallest stuff. Like you may even send like a motivational meme. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do it. You know, it, you, I send it yeah, to you all the time. You, you, know, you may like, send a motivational meme and it's not mm -hmm. even like a, it's not even like a, oh, you know, I just want you to know I love you. You know, it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, out of the darkest comes the dawn or whatever. And it's, you know, it's got a cool yeah. explosion or whatever in the background. Mm -hmm. But it's like, man, do man need to hear this? Because, you know, I feel like he's going through it right now. Mm -hmm. And it's just, and it, or you say you good. You good? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, that's, that's like, that's like, like a dude's way of saying like, if you need me, I'm here for you. Yeah. Um, because I care about you. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna say that because that's gay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like we're gonna just go say you good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it. we uh, we get it. It's weird, yeah. bro. But <laughs> like, you know what this reminds me? All right. So you know, before we wrap up, you know, like that. All right. This reminds me of one of my favorite jokes. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and say this, man. All right, like that. So it's a bit of a, a, a lengthy joke, all right, like that. Hey, all right. There's a ship out in the ocean. Okay. Okay. And one of the crewmen looking out, and he freaking, uh, uh, he sees that there's a one enemy sh ship coming, all right? And he calls out to the crew, all right, Captain, Captain, there's an enemy ship coming. Captain's like, you know, bring me my, my red shirt, all right? So then uh, the crewman runs down to his quarters, brings his red short, uh, shirt, uh, and they fight all day. They didn't lose anybody, all right? Next day, all right, same crewman looking out, sees three enemy ships, all right? Captain, Captain, there's three enemy ships, all right? Freaking uh, uh, Captain's like, bring me my red shirt. Goes to the quarters, puts the red shirt on, all right? They fight all day, they, they use only one guy, all right? And then the, the crewman is like, hey, Captain, why do you want me to go and get you your red shirt? He's like, well, you know, if I get, you know, if I get cut and I start bleeding, that y'all can't see me bleed like that because he's wearing a red shirt. He's like, oh, you're so smart, Captain. You know, like that. Next day coming, all right? Captain, Captain, there's 10 enemy ships like that. Captain comes back, bring me my brown pants. <laughs> 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 Yo, that, 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 that's funny. That's funny, right? that's funny bro. It's one of my favorite that's jokes. Funny, right? Right? He's, like, He's like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Y'all yeah. don't need to know what it's about to you go down, bro. Uh, but man, you know, I was like talking about this bro i like yeah. <laughs> that's funny bro oh, <laughs> all <shit>. jokes aside <laughs> you know funny. like hey you know again i i guess it's just this whole conversation of just not letting the king see the king bleed you know what i mean 